Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com outside in the beautiful spontaneous order that surrounds us all. Today I want to discuss the idea of legality. What is legal? What is illegal? And what is a crime? If you ask these questions to the everyday statist, they will cringe at the idea of disobeying a political mandate. But the question arises, what is a crime? Now the answer to that depends on your framework, your moral framework. One answer is morally consistent and logical. And the other answer is arbitrary and whimsical. According to the statist, what is a true crime is any person that disobeys a political mandate, an arbitrary whim of our rulers. Now given the tens of thousands of pages in the Federal Register of laws and regulations that are on the books. Every single one of us is a criminal because there is no politician, there is no law enforcement agent, and there is no person living in the geographical region known as the United States that understands all of these laws and regulations and taxes. Therefore, it is inevitable that we are all breaking the law every single day. And that necessarily devalues and diminishes the law. It makes it into a joke, into a whim of those in power. And it becomes, and, and it gives the, the state the ability to deem any person a criminal should the suspicion or the eyes of the state be turned against any single person or group of people. Therefore, this is illegitimate. And this is not valid. In the eyes of the voluntarist and the anarchist, a true crime is one in which a victim is involved. And the most basic crimes are theft, assault, rape, and murder. These are the only crimes where victim, or defrauding you can say, these are the only crimes where victim, there is a, a victim and there is a victimizer, there is an aggressor. Therefore, any addition to these most basic laws must be invalid and false. Therefore, it is the duty of truly moral people who obey their conscience, of volunteers, of anarchists, of independent thinkers, to disobey unjust laws. In the course of recorded history, the primary entity that is responsible for the most human suffering and misery is the state, or more specifically put, agents acting on behalf of the state. It was not the state that corralled the Jews and gassed them. It was agents of the state. It was not the state that massacred 
millions of Native Americans in North America. It was agents of the state. It was not the state that forced Japanese Americans into internment camps during World War II. It was agents of the state. What gives power and might to the state are o obedient order followers. It's not the tanks, it's not the jets, it's not the guns. It's the people behind the tanks, the jets, and the guns that are the most evil. They always require a flesh and blood person to do the dirty work, to push the button. Even a drone requires someone to push the button. It always comes down to a flesh and blood person. Without an obedient order follower, the state will crumble and will wither away and will die as quickly as a parasite that has been deprived of its nourishment from the host. The state is a parasite living off the industriousness and the productivity of hardworking people. Therefore, the greatest way that one can resist the encroachment, the control of the state, is by disobedience, disobedience of unjust laws, which, incidentally, are the vast majority of the laws. Most people that are in prison are therefore victimless crimes drug possession, drug use, tax evasion. These are not true crimes. There are no victims in these crimes. And yet these comprise the vast majority of people that are sitting behind cages. Make no mistake, no private individual can ever compete with the evil and misery that has been wreaked by agents of the state throughout history. It is unparalleled. Therefore, the greatest deeds that a moral person can do is to live your life in such a manner that the state is irrelevant and unnecessary. We must remove our attention and participation of this most evil entity and live our lives as if it does not exist and it will immediately cease to have power. Raise your kids to be free independent thinkers. Live your lives. Be productive. That is how we can resist and that is how we can flourish and thrive. Thank you very much. This is Peaceful Anarchism out here in the beautiful nature with you all. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. 
if you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you will receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.